This, of course, is the Super Eagles Watch podcast, and uh, my name is Victor Godfrey. We do have joining us via Zoom today is the team coordinator of the Super Eagles of Nigeria and also the FA chairman of the Bauchi State Football Association. I'm talking about Mr. Patrick Pascal. Now, sir, thank you so much for being a part of our show today. Thank you very much. You were at the unveiling ceremony in Abuja when you know, Finidi George was unveiled officially as the Super Eagles uh, manager going forward, and you've worked with him under Jose Pesero. What are your views on our new manager, Finidi George? Finidi George uh, is a gentle person, and then uh, is someone that uh, wants to learn uh, too, because of when he, uh, he's working with uh, Joe Pesero, every time they are together, they work together, and he gave uh, Pacero 100% support to make sure he contributed his own quota so that uh, Pacero will feel at home and do the, uh, do the work very good. And I tell you, Finidi is uh, someone that uh, is yes, is yes. He's very gentle, but I tell you, when he takes decision, he makes sure that that decision stand because of... Uh, is someone that uh, is very focused on this uh, business. That's uh, the, the 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 football. So for 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 me, I'm not surprised to see to see him in that uh, uh, at that place that he is now. Now this is a question that many Nigerians have. is a big question mark in our minds, and I'm going to ask you this question as well. Do you think that Finidi George has the ability? to tackle the task ahead? There is nothing new there. You know, the only thing now is the uh, he is the head coach of the team. But I tell you, uh, he, has so, he has a very solid uh, 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 backroom staff and then his, uh, his people that he picked that they are going to assist him, you know, on the bench. I think I think uh, everything is in order, and uh, you know, some people are thinking that maybe you just have one or two weeks uh, just for him to prepare the team. Luckily, luckily, he's with the team for almost 20, 22 months. He's with the team. So now, what of if you bring someone that is not even close to the team? That he did not even know the team, he did not even know the players, and then you 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 bring him to work with the team. Where will that one start? So for me, you know, he he has a very good advantage, you know, now because of he is with the team, he know the capacity of the team, and he know the area that he need to work very well that we get uh, improvement and get results. So uh, for me, that two weeks, you know, is not something that uh, we should be complaining. It's not under 17. It's not under 13 that you will go and bring them one month, two months. You know, now we, we work with the FIFA calendar, FIFA window that, yes, this is the time they will come and play. So even if you bring any coach in the whole world from every corner, it will not pass that week that FIFA gave you for you to call the players. So for me, I don't see anything uh, to worry about there because of if someone is even working with the team, it's an advantage for him to, to work uh, easily for, 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 for the match that is coming up against South Africa. And I'm telling you, uh, everybody know that that match is very important. And then we are, we are all focusing on that match and make sure that Nigeria qualify for World Cup by the special grace of God. Now, during Nigeria's last international engagement, you were very, you were very much in, uh, you know, present with uh, Felidi George in Morocco when we took on you know, Ghana and Mali, one victory and one defeat. Uh, how was the mood in the camp without you know, Jose Pesero, given the fact he has been our manager, or at least our most recent manager? You know, we, we are with uh, Pesero for <laughs> almost 22 months. 
And I, I'm telling you, uh, for us, you know, Pasero is not a bad person, you understand. And then Pasero is a very nice person. Pasero is someone that always wants to do his job, you know. He has the passion, he has everything uh, about this uh, work. And I tell you, all of us, you know, nobody nobody is uh, like kind of fighting Pasero. No, 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 nobody. You know, all we give him maximum support, everything to make sure he succeed. Yeah, he succeed. And then now, uh, when we went there, you know, that friendly match, you understand uh, Pasero is not there. It's kind of like kind of, oh, today, you know, we will not hear some other things that even when Pasero is saying, you know, we look at you, we shake head, you know, and other things. And then uh, you you see, uh, he has done his best. That's the truth. Uh, Pasero has done his best because of reaching that stage, you know, it's not easy. So he has done his stage, but now it's another person uh, that is there. So uh, Finiti took the job very well. He called everybody, staff, you know, that uh, now this match is in charge and then he want everybody cooperation and then let us work together as one family, as the uh, normal. So for us, uh, our response is as a, as we give Pasero 100% uh, support, likewise, you will we give you 100% support. Because of now, we are talking about Nigeria. We are no more talking about like kind of uh, Finidi or anybody. You know, when they choose a coach for the national team, everything is gone. It's for you to concentrate on how to support the coach that is there for the country to achieve. So it's not a matter of, uh, is this people house, you know, is that part? No, it's Nigeria we are talking about now. So Nigeria want to see uh, their country in World Cup. And then all the things that we will do, we will give him support. So for, uh, in, in Morocco, we give him 100% support to do his job. But, you know, in Morocco is the only person, you know, the technical bench, you know, I think is the only goalkeeper trainer that is there with him. So he find it a bit difficult, uh, you know, to work. But now he has fully uh, uh, his back, uh, uh, the technical staff that he's going to work with. So I think now the work will be very easy for him because of he will, yeah, he will do some other ones and then some they will do uh, the needful, the things that they're supposed to do to help him to achieve. Now, as you know, with football, not everybody can start a football match. Uh, you also obviously have to have a bench uh, filled with substitutes. Of course, all these players want to be a part of the action. Now, the, 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 the word around the, 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 you know, the circulating is that certain players are not happy that they were not given a chance to, you know, showcase themselves at, uh, you know, during the, the last uh, friendly games. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Is this actually true? Is that the case? No player in the whole world, when you call him, you know, maybe he's sitting on the bench. You know, they are professional player. Don't you see what happened against uh, uh, Manchester City and, uh, and uh, Manchester City and uh, Tottenham? The goalkeeper even got injured. But when the coach removed him, what did he do? He kicked, you know, the the <laughs> the water that is there. You know, he doesn't want to shake anybody. But at the end of the match, where they won, he had to say, you go to the field, greeting, shaking everybody. So, you see, professional players nowadays, you know, they want to play. They want to play. So, if you call them, you know, they, they want to see themselves as professional players inside the field. And then that one, let me tell you something, is a very good attitude. It's a very good attitude because of this is your work. This is what you do. So to show everybody that I want to play, you understand that one is, uh, is normal. But the only thing that you cannot do is to insult maybe the coach that you are working with. You know, you cannot do that. But uh, now, now, now coaching is not like before. 
So our people, they have to understand what it, a player, a player has even right now to go on and, and meet the coach and say, coach, uh, please, uh, am I not doing well? I want to hear maybe area that I can improve. You understand? That one is okay. You can talk. Coach is your friend. You yeah, know, coach is not like uh, the ones that we, we, we play under them before, before. When your coach is in 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 in, in, in that area, you know you you will be hiding to go to that area. No, football has gone beyond that now. So uh, I don't think the way things happen in Morocco and the way people are saying it, you know, they are saying it kind of no, eh, these boys they will not respect. No, don't you hear what indeed you you heard what indeed the interview. Indeed he said, indeed he said, I, we work with him just these two matches in uh, Mo uh, Morocco and we are very happy, you know, and we want to work with him to support him too, you know, so that we can achieve our goals. So, you know, every time some people, they just want to hold one thing, you understand, to start making it a news so that they can say indigenous coach, Cannot handle national team, man. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Now, Nick, just making a quick reference to the past indigenous coach we've had uh, to be a part of the Super Eagles. Of course, we had Sunday Olise, and one of his biggest, you know, uh, will I say, loopholes would be the fact that he just didn't have sometimes the best, you know, ability to manage certain situations with certain players. Now, do you feel that Felipe George is that kind of individual that can manage, have that good man management skills with this current squad, you know, manage the egos, know when to be harsh, stern, know when to be soothing, loving, put an arm around the so um, shoulder, like they say. Uh, so your thoughts on Felipe George's man management skills? Is he the man that can actually manage this set of players to their optimal, you know, abilities? Now, Felipe George that, and then you see every coach that you see in the national team, has its own method you know, to work with the players. And I tell you, uh, as a professional person, and then him that played this game, I don't think, you know, we are, Finiti is managing Aimba very well. We did not hear any crisis and other things. And then the players are very happy, even the management. They are, uh, they are very happy with him. You can see the, the party that they throw for him, you know, when leaving the team. So uh, in the national team, he knows the, the rules and regulation that even during the time that he was a player, those things are there. So now it's just for him, you know, Take it from there. And then he has all these backroom staff, uh, technical, the backroom staff too, the technical bench that he has now. Uh, Daniel Amokachi played for the national team, everything. You know, we have some, you know, play continental and other things. They are in the team there too. So I think they are going to do well. You know, the only problem we are having in this country is that then, uh, when, they, when they choose our own, you know, every time we start to doubt here, yeah, doubt there, yeah, you know, kind of a different ringing tone everywhere, you know? So that's it. But I tell you, for me, you know, now he is in charge. And then the only thing we want to see is as a let us concentrate on the game. And then, moreover, how many matches did Finiti handle? Only two matches. Only two. So you cannot even judge him with two matches. No, 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 you cannot. So let's see what will happen. And then when we continue, then some other things, you know, it will come out. But for now, it's for us, you know, to pray for him and then make sure that uh, everything is okay. Now, another member of Nigeria's golden generation, Daniel Amokachi, also known as the Bull, uh, he'll be part of the backroom staff for Fenidi George. What are your thoughts on these two individuals working together for the Super Eagles? Well, it's a good one. That's the prayer of uh, most of even the uh, 
the Ex International in Nigeria. And then Dan, uh, Dan Amokachi and uh, Finidi George is uh, the same, the same, you understand, made in the national team. So for, for us, we are very happy. And then it's for them to, 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 to hold themselves very well to make sure they protect, you understand, the name of uh, the asset. And then to make sure that uh, uh, they cooperate well, and then they will work very, very well. Because of, for now, if anything happen between uh, these two set of uh, uh, people that came together, I will tell you it's going to be very bad thing for their own set you know, that they play together. So uh, for me, uh, they need to work hand in hand and then make sure that the business that bring them there is the first thing that they should do. Now, of course, you are the team coordinator uh, of the Super Eagles, but also you are the Football Association chairman for Bauchi State Football Association. And uh, when you have that hat on, we have an indigenous coach. What are your what are your thoughts on Fidelity George perhaps giving a chance now to players from the Nigerian Professional Football League? So for us, we are very happy. We are very happy to see this moment that uh, today is an indigenous coach and we want to see indigenous players in that place. You see, the only thing that we're supposed to do is that uh, if we want to see more of indigenous players in the national team, then we need to make our league We are everybody will have confidence that yes, when they are playing, you will try to watch. When they are playing, you will say that today, no home, no away. No home, no away. I tell you, if we if we if we do that, you understand everybody has confidence in Nigeria League because of we have quality players. We have everything that it does us, you understand, to, to, to put players in the national team through the league. But if some of the things are not going well, you know, now, if the more especially the officiating, if the officiating are not going very well, how can you see players? How can you see coaches that are good in the league? How can you see them? So it's very difficult. So we, our prayers is as in, let the officiating of Nigerian football, let it come back to olden days, you know, that we, we played, you know, that time, you know, everybody, massive people in the stadium, watching football, no home, no away, play football. So that when you play very well, they will pick you. When you pick a player, nobody in Nigeria will complain. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Because of now, that team will help the uh, indigenous players to fix themselves inside the national team. Now, after two, will I say, disappointing draws for the Super Eagles of Nigeria in the qualifying uh, series for the World Cup in uh, Canada, USA, and Mexico, what are your chances or what are your thoughts on our chances, uh, you know, against South Africa and Uyo a couple of <laughs> weeks from now? And also our uh, chances against Benin Republic in Abidjan, managed by a man that you also know all too well in Gannett Raw. By the special grace of God, we are going to be South Africa. And we are going to qualify for World Cup this time around. We are going to World Cup. We are going to qualify by the special grace of God. Because of, you know, our players are doing very well outside country, week in, week out. They are doing very, very well. Look at now the, uh, our up front there, how many goals, you know, those guys are scoring week in, week out. You know, to say the midfield, the defense, and then everything, the goalkeeping side. We have everything in our hands. And then by the special grace of God, we are going to qualify to World Cup. Now, your role as the Super Eagles coordinator, team coordinator, has you know spanned so many decades. 
and uh, you know you've worked with many managers, different personalities. Can you just tell us a bit about that experience, how it has been for you, how it has even touched you individually as a fan of the Super Eagles of Nigeria? Well, uh, it's not a small experience. Though. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a small experience. You know, the work is very tedious. And then I tell you, uh, when you are working as coordinator, for more especially for the senior national team, I tell you, you need to calm down and you need to bring yourself low because of you are going to work with these players that are your junior ones. You need to bring them together. You need to motivate them. You understand we are day two. They can play well even for the uh, for 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 their country, and then you uh, give them give them some confidence. You uh, you know when you are talking to them, and then the 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 coaches too. You need to like kind of be giving them confidence. You know you work together. Make sure that the coach did not lack anything during. You know maybe uh going to training and then put everything in order and you are the first you are the first person to wake up you are the last person to sleep so you are the first person to wake up you are the last person to sleep so you know it's not easy it's not like a kind of if you are there you keep on sleeping no 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 you make sure the whole itinerary of the team everything you know going out coming in you know, you are the one that is scheduling all the program. The coach gives you the program, and then you 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 write it every time on board for the players, or even the restaurants, they will see when they're supposed to do the breakfast, when they're supposed to do the lunch and the dinner. So everything, you know, work in your hand, and then your massive support, you know, to the team is very, very important. Very, very important. Because if you have a very dull coordinator, let me tell you something, the coach will not be he will not be happy. The players will not be happy because of there uh, will be a missing link, you know, that will not go straight. But if you have someone that are uh, very intelligent, you package everybody, you work together as friends. Why? What do you want? Do you think that you want is the success of the team? The success of the team. So you can bring yourself low, work so to make sure that the team have that success that is built inside of your heart and that's what uh, i've been doing and then thank god almighty uh i work with several coaches as you said and then no problem from any other person that we work with because we make sure we give the person total support and we bring all the backroom staff to you know to make to uh, make the coach work very easy, so that's it. You need to work with the coach one hundred percent, and you take. I only take uh, uh, instruction from the coach. Only is the coach that only give me instruction. Okay, so 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 time this communicate with players. So 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 time this, you know. Except if the players have maybe something to say. They told me uh, if they, co uh, uh, they communicate with me, I will rush to the coach and tell him, you know, this is what we're, he will tell me, okay, go and tell them this thing. You see, so, uh, well, it's, uh, it's good. And it's, uh, you know, for now, even, uh, what will I say? I, I, I'm supposed to be a lecturer on that uh, area, <laughs> maybe to other national team, you know, <laughs> to show them how. They can be doing the coordinatorship work in that mm -hmm. place that they are. Yeah. So like we mentioned earlier on in the previous question, of course, you've worked with different managers. Uh, the question now, to, you know, thrown to you is: Do you feel that you know indigenous coaches, the Nigerian coaches, get you know more um, less respect from uh, the players than their foreign counterparts, or what's the actual case? Who gets more respect from the players? I'm telling you, it depends on how you package yourself. Because of the truth is that they, see, players in the national team, when they come for, uh, for, for match, how many weeks did they have? They just have one week, you know, one and a half week. Maybe at times two weeks. If maybe, you know, during the time that they are, if they are playing. 
except maybe during competition. That's where you will have like one month or three weeks camp and then one month competition. You see? So it depends on how you package yourselves. Okay, all these players that they are talking about in the national team, like, like me, that I'm their coordinator, nobody is disrespecting me. We work together. I will call them, hey, come, we'll talk. Hold him, we talk, talk to them, and they will do. They will do what you want them to do. So it depends on how you package yourself. If you package yourself very well, you know, it will work. It will work. But if you don't package yourself very well, you know, it will not work. And then the advantage that all these ones that they are coming from outside country, let me tell you something, is that if they reach here, hey, no, this one, no, I will not agree. This one, I will not agree. This one, I will not accept. And then from there, you understand, the team will follow. So you do, you need to package yourself. You need to package yourself very well because of these are players that, you know, you too, you are in their shoes one time like that. And then they are coming from outside country playing. So you don't need to, you don't need to make sure uh, like kind of uh, some other things, you know, they will be looking you like kind of maybe you don't know what you are doing. And then if the players start to disrespect someone, you know, if technically you are not sound. If technically you are not sound, they will, will start to disrespect you. But if technically you are sound, training program, everything is going, you know, I tell you, they will respect you. They will respect you. And I think uh, the one I saw with Finidi, you know, that we went to Morocco, he has shown that, yes, technically is good here. Thank you so much, sir, for being a part of the Super Eagles Watch podcast. It's really amazing to have a man of your caliber be a guest on our show today. Thank you very much. All right, now, now guys, uh, you can always be a part of the conversation on social media, X, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. And let's know that you really love the Super Eagles of Nigeria. My name is Victor Godfrey. I say this all the time. Be good and be safe. Keep it going as a Super Eagles fan. It is bye from us and bye for now.